Arsenal have experienced an inconsistent season following the departure of Arsene Wenger at the end of the 2017-18 campaign. New boss Uni Emery immediately looked to put his stamp on the Gunners squad, investing heavily with five new faces arriving at the Emirates. Lucas Pereira, Bernd Leno, Socrates Papastatha Paolos and Matteo Gundauzi all came through the door for reasonable transfer fees, while Stefan Lichtstein was signed on a free. Results were initially positive with Arsenal enjoying a 22-match unbeaten run, but a mid-season wobble saw familiar problems resurface. A horrendous injury list and ill-discipline left Arsenal short of personnel in defence for several weeks, forcing Granit Zaka to be deployed as an emergency centre-back. The Gunners came out of this lump quickly, and are now fourth in the Premier League and into the quarter-finals of the Europa League. However, defensive reinforcements will be targeted in the summer with several options available for no transfer fee. Express Sport has taken a look at who could arrive, or extend their stay, at Arsenal in the summer. Antonio Valencia, Manchester United, Valencia is out of contract at the end of the season, and will almost certainly leave Old Trafford in the summer. Arsenal are said to be in the hunt for the Ecuadorian, but face competition from West Ham, Inter Milan and an unnamed Chinese Super League club. First choice right back Hector Bellerin is still sidelined with a serious knee injury and Valencia would provide experienced cover for the Spaniard. The 33-year-old's father and agent Luis name checked Arsenal and said his son wants to be hired by a team that fights for important things. Adrian Rabiot, Paris Saint-Germain, Rabiot has fallen out of favour in Paris and is almost certain to leave the Parc des Princes during the summer. Despite being forced to train with the reserves, the 23-year-old has attracted attention from Barcelona, Manchester United and Tottenham as well as Arsenal. The Gunners have been disappointed with January Loney Dennis Suarez and are still looking to strengthen their midfield options. And a reunion with former manager Emery potentially gives Arsenal an advantage over their rivals when looking to lure Arabia on a free transfer. Diego Godin, Atletico Madrid, Arsenal invested heavily in the summer, but still find themselves short on quality in defence with injuries and suspensions earlier in the season wreaking havoc in Emery's squad. Squadron Mustafi is not considered up to scratch, and picking up veteran centre-back Diego Godin would undoubtedly bolster the Gunners squad. AC Milan and Inter Milan are both interested in the Uruguayan, with contracts reportedly already having been offered as an exit from Atletico Madrid looks inevitable.
at 33 Godin, would not be a long-term solution to Arsenal's problems, but the rugged defender would be a welcome addition, if the club are prepared to pay his high wages. David Lewis, Chelsea, Arsenal made an £18 million bid for the Chelsea defender last summer before eventually signing Socrates from Borussia Dortmund. Lewis is yet to be offered a new deal, and would only receive a one-year extension at best, with the Brazilian over 30 years old, potentially forcing him to reconsider a move to the Emirates. Gary Cahill, Chelsea, like Lewis, the England centre-back was strongly linked with a move to Arsenal in the summer after being frozen out at Stamford Bridge. Cahill is out of contract at the end of the season and would add some much-needed steel to or flaky gunners Riagput. Nacho Monreal, Carl Jenkinson and Stefan Lichtsteiner, out of contract, all three defenders are coming to the end of their current deals at Arsenal, and are yet to be offered new contracts by the club. Monreal is most likely to secure an extension with the versatile left-back providing an option in several different formations as well as vital experience in the dressing room. Lichtsteiner has failed to impress since his summer arrival with the Swiss veteran often caught out due to his lack of pace. Meanwhile, Jenkinson has failed to consistently perform at the highest level for the Gunners, so both he and Lichtsteiner could well be allowed to depart for free. <laughs>